Alright guys, it's Laura and Hercules. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to my channel. So I'm finally settled in again after all my travels this year. It was really good to be home and I'm also back to cooking and that's why I'm sharing today with you my favorite pumpkin soup recipe. It's very easy, there are just a few ingredients and everything is super natural. So if you want to know how I cook my pumpkin soup, then please keep watching. So here are my pumpkin soup ingredients, a few pieces of pumpkin, I have no special preferences as to the type of the pumpkin, but I do prefer the ones that have been already chopped in at least several pieces, just like this one. Next I have here a few carrots, a piece of celery and one Turkish garlic. Instead of the Turkish garlic, you could use about three or four cloves of regular garlic. And then I have here garden leek pieces and a bit of cilantro organic vegan veggie soup and cayenne pepper two medium-sized potatoes to thicken the soup and last but not least a few pumpkin, sunflower and hemp seeds first I peel the pumpkin and remove all the seeds and then I cut it in smaller pieces Next I peel the carrots, I chop them into small pieces and then I do the same with my potatoes. As a next step I peel and chop also the celery, and then the garlic. I wash and chop my cilantro and leave it for the time being on the side. And then I put all of my veggies in a pot together with the leek. I fill my pot up with water and put it on the stove. For the time being I season it only with a bit of cayenne pepper and then I let it cook. There is one optional ingredient that I like putting in my soups, which is bay leaf. But if you don't like bay leaves, simply leave it out. No pun intended. After the water starts boiling, I reduce the heat and let it all simmer for about 10-15 minutes. It all depends on how big your veggie pieces are. In the meantime, I crush the pumpkin, sunflower and hemp seeds for later for decoration. Once the veggies are all soft, I remove the leek and the bay leaf. And then I take my hand mixer and blend all veggies together. Whenever the soup turns out to be a bit too thick, I always add a bit more hot water and then I blend it again with the hand mixer. As a next step, I add about one tablespoon of the veggie soup. I mix all again with the hand mixer and then I make a taste test. If necessary, I add a bit more of the veggie soup, but I'm always careful about this because, to be honest, nobody likes way too salty soup, right? Anyway, I let the soup simmer for two or three more minutes and then I turn the heat off and let the soup cool down a bit. And at the end I add the fresh cilantro. You don't have to use so much of it, about a third would definitely suffice, but I'm crazy about this herb so I always go bananas with it. Well, and my soup is done. Then I serve my soup and decorate it with a bit of the crushed pumpkin, hemp and sunflower seeds. This is definitely my favorite way how to cook a pumpkin soup. I really love pumpkin soup and I love pumpkins not just because of the taste but also because of all the other things that come with pumpkins. I feel like when the fall is coming everything feels so different. I feel very safe, I feel very comfortable, I have the feeling that all is good and even though I enjoy summer I'm always very excited about the next season. 
And if you know me from my DIY channel, you will probably understand because I always go bananas about Halloween and Christmas. So I will link my DIY channel down below if you want, you can check it out too. And since I love pumpkins and the sweater weather so much, I'm definitely gonna film more pumpkin or different fall recipes for you guys in the next few weeks. So there's definitely something to look forward to. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. You can also share it with anyone who you think might be interested. I link down below besides my DIY channel, also all of my Instagram accounts. So you can visit me there too, if you want to. And I'm gonna see you with my next video. So thanks, thanks, uh, that, that, thanks, I'm stuttering. That's very embarrassing. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.